Hello there puzzle friends again, we're here today with another video about jigsaw puzzles uh, Today this video is a vlog about the jigsaw puzzles we puzzled uh, the last month uh, That said, there are not so many jigsaw puzzles uh, for this vlog to show while uh, because I was um, uh, actually on a vacation and I did also a very big jigsaw puzzle which is not included in this vlog there will be a different video for this one and yeah having that said let's carry on and let's start this vlog as I like to call these um, videos uh, we start with the small one of the batch the small one when it comes to the number of pieces this one is a 500 piece jigsaw puzzle uh, it depicts uh, a number of uh, um, variations of cheese uh, cheese is also the name of this one here you can see the name uh, it's from New York Puzzle Company I don't know if, uh, I, if I have already mentioned that and here under you can also see the names of the cheeses let's say for example uh, this one is a Gorgonzola, this one is double Gloucester and so on and so forth. We were not going everyone specific of one of them. I did find this theme very funny and very unique, so to say. So I did like to puzzle it. When it comes to New York jigsaw puzzles, as you may notice on the screen, they are not that perfect of a ribbon cut as this one is. This one is a Schmidt. We are look. Uh, all uh, we will look, look right into it. Uh, they do. They are, but I could not also say that they are a smart cut. They are somewhat between. Uh, they are, the pieces are very distinct, and they are actually an easy jigsaw puzzle to make. I'm. I have done also some of them, but I do believe all of them were 500 pieces. I do have some more of them, which are 1,000 pieces, and then again we will see how are they doing in the bigger number of pieces. When it comes to size, it's almost as big as the 1,000 ones we are going to show today. And yeah, I also like to say this one didn't have any specific parts that were very difficult or some some, some sort. Because you can see there are many different textures that you can always find or hear or that you can find an easy puzzle. It's an easy puzzle. I would actually this uh, say this. You can try this if you are starting. If you like the image, of course. Because it's something that you will quickly find these pieces or these pieces and you will get to it. So, without further ado, let's go. On to the next one. The next one is a very believed one. Uh, it's from Disney and from Thomas Skincate. Let me make it this straight for you. It got a little and this way and a little way down. Uh, it's from Thomas Skincate and Disney. Uh, a win to win combination, so to say. Uh, and it's from the brand Schmidt. The brand Schmidt is one of the best brands out there that you can get. At least uh, one of the best from Europe. Uh, it's from Germany. And it's the beauty and the beast uh, on the night, dancing on the night. I don't really remember the full title. Uh, this one was second hand. As you see, the colors are very beautiful uh, this actually was a lot more difficult than I'd expected to be but then again uh, you see it's very dark so some parts of the sky are not that distinguishable when they are uh, on one piece or something like this yes I, I uh, started here making this grau gray pieces and the balcony uh, then was Ariel's dress Ariel's bell stress. I'm sorry for the uh, that I did some wrong there for the fanatics of Disney. Uh, but as I said, it was a very difficult puzzle. I do believe it took me the double the time that it usually takes me to do this. 
And as you already tell, unfortunately, I do have some missing pieces. I do believe they are nine. Uh, why do I have missing pieces? Because this was a jigsaw puzzle that I bought from a batch that were used ones. I, I don't normally buy uh, used jigsaw puzzle except if they are very uh, unique at least to me or they are very, um, how can I say, very interesting to me or something that I do not it's not easy for me to find a specific brand, a specific type or something like this and this one was inside in a batch of jigsaw puzzles so it, it's not unique as a jigsaw puzzle but it was in the batch, the batch had a good price and it had so many puzzles that that are somewhat expensive if you buy them new uh, if I regret that I did buy this, yes it was kind of um, disappointing should I say but I don't regret because the fun was all there. But the final product is not that one that I was expecting because of the missing pieces. But the fun was all there. What do you think? Would you do such a puzzle? Or would you think that the fun is already lost when you see at the last moment that the puzzles, the pieces were missing? I did notice this one was missing from quite through in the um, making of this puzzle but I still did carry on to make it ready so let's go to the next one ah this one this one is a very uh, lovable jigsaw puzzle at least to me a very lovable jigsaw puzzle uh, this one is also one that I would uh, suggest to someone who is not that um, uh, experienced with jigsaw puzzle then again it's it's already 1000 pieces so that means it may be somewhat difficult for you but as you can see there are some distinct patterns I do believe I did start making here the pink ones yeah of course I always I always most of the time I start with a border for reasons we have already talked in the channel uh, I do believe then it was this blue ones this is as uh, it's called Asian uh, umbrellas uh, Asian paper umbrellas as oil paper umbrellas I don't remember the titles uh, somewhat something like this it's from the brand Eurographics it's a smart shape as you can see a smart cut uh, it was very fun to make because it was so many distinct patterns so many distinct shapes it's a very 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 fun to make I really love jigsaw puzzles that are so colorful and with so many different patterns and that you see the picture is always progressing ah and this is a small detail that I didn't notice on the first time on the other one that we did that I showed you earlier there are not so many details to see although there are some such as like Gaston that it's on a horse or um, that he carries a lantern but this one has many more details that you don't see when you buy the box. Uh, I do believe we have said also about that. This is on the easiest side, I would say, when it comes to puzzling. You may think, oh, so much stuff is happening here. Yes, but this one, for example, you cannot confuse it with this one. It's very different. Or with the, the red ones, maybe at first glance somewhat similar. But if you get the hang of it, you will find quick your way through. So, and let's go to the next one, which is also a very fun one. This one is on the cartoon side, so to say. It depicts the Niagara Falls. Probably from the Canadian side. I've never been to the side, so I, I'm not quite sure if it is uh, close to the uh, reality or it's, it's totally imaginative uh, we do have some funny faces, some funny stuff happening around here also some good details here as you probably can tell uh, this was uh, easy and difficult at the same time also it's uh, more difficult than the previous one but uh, easier than the uh, 
one with the Beauty and the Beast. Uh, you will. Uh, I would. I started quickly with these green ones, green pieces. Uh, interestingly, this uh, tower took some time to make, and then I did make this uh, this rope and the people hanging there. Fun fact with detail, and this I have also put on my Instagram account, is uh, Terence and Philip. I have no idea why they put them inside, because of Canada or somewhere else, uh, some other reason. This one is from D Toys. I did like it. Uh, it's a quality that uh, I would say it's worth your money. So you can feel free to try it. They do have many cartoony jigsaw puzzles from this brand. And I do believe uh, uh, we have said much more or less what we had said. And now comes the most interesting one of the batch. Let's see what's the last one. As you already can tell, this is somewhat different from the other ones. Uh, I'm not sure or don't know if you are a Lord of the Rings fan. I personally like the movies. Uh, I cannot say that I'm a very big fan or something like this, but still I did find this very interesting because it's inspired from Lord of the Rings books and it was made before uh, the movies. So you can tell it's not uh, so uh, in, um, not inspired, um, I forget the word. It's not so similar as the movies. Yeah, good. Uh, you can understand that this is Gandalf or something like this. There are some similarities, but it's not the same. This is Galandriel. It's the title is the Mirror of Galandriel for the jigsaw puzzle. Uh, the texture is so what somewhat papery, a very interesting texture to so to say. And the, here is the ring bearer looking his future inside the mirror. Uh, I do believe this is supposed to be where they found this uh, spider thing, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, as I said earlier, uh, this jigsaw puzzle I did buy it uh, second hand and it was uh somewhat cheaper what the normal this shop normally sells the jigsaw puzzles because they thought that one jigsaw one piece was missing they did count the pieces and they thought ah one piece is missing but as you can see as i put it together not a piece was missing so i tend to think that it was a good thing that they thought that one piece was missing because most of the people did see it, but did not buy it, and I did, and I'm happy to have it. So, uh, these are the jigsaw puzzles we are for today. We have for today. I do hope you did love them. You did like them. Do you have any one of them? Do you have you puzzled any one of them? Uh, I would like to see your uh, your opinions in the comments, and have a chat going, and I will get. Now next to it, I have already here the next project is on the on the way, on the making. I do hope I, sh I will have it in time for you to see. That's it for me for today. Thanks again for watching. Happy puzzling. Stay safe and until next time. Goodbye.